What's going on guys? Built Tough 1776 here. What's this guy doing on top of Random Bow? Gotta, What's going on, buddy? You gotta break in the suspension sometimes. Otherwise, you know, new shocks, they're Gabriel and then Duralast. Oh yeah, that's that's factory, that's them. fine. So today we got a special video for you behind no, us. No. We're gonna be talking about the Yukon. Most likely. Tomorrow we're gonna have a serious video sometimes. on Rambo. Yeah, either yeah, way. Yeah. Is this helpful or no? Oh, oh yeah, oh, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, well, check. so he's done a shit ton of stuff on the Yukon over there, and uh, I want y'all to check it out because this is why we love GM and Fords. I don't know what about this. What happened here? Yeah, oh, I don't. LA. We don't worry about the Japan baby stuff over here, but it's it's all right. Boy odor. We'll give it an ex exception. Let's jump into the Yukon. Hopefully so anyway. This. Oh yeah. So you said there's a little work that's been done on the Yukon. Just a tickle. Mostly under the hood, or all under the hood, basically. Yeah, we don't worry about the interior, but the powertrain, my God. Like it came off the assembly line yeah, still. Check it. Yeah. Okay, what's, I'll start on this side here. Yeah, yeah. Brand new Duralast Gold battery. Uh, brand new alternator. Oh, yeah. New belts. Uh, these Vortex, this generation, has a separate belt. It's a serpentine drive belt but the compressor's on a different belt. But two new belts, brake flush, new alternator as I said, new power steering pump. From GM, we got new AC Delco wires and AC Delco plugs, pre-gapped, but you always wanna check your gap no matter what. That walk has me winded. Yeah, yeah. Uh, speaking of compressor, we got new, oh, and by the way, we just did plugs and wires on that side. Screw bank one. Yeah, that's... Uh, this is a GM, this would be bank two. New AC compressor, whole new AC system, minus the condenser, because the condenser was fine. Uh, put about 700 bucks in parts on the AC system. It's like a meat locker in the summertime. Okay. You want to tell them the benefits of working at a mechanic shop and uh, oh, the, yeah. the core right. charges? It's a warranty everything. That alternator was replaced. That, that The old alternator was an O'Reilly alternator replaced in like 2009. Warranty. Brand new Duralast Platinum alternator. Warranty. All I had to pay was the, what is it, like 30 bucks? Oh, core charge? charge? Yeah. So my dad got a new alternator, new belt, and battery for like 50 bucks. And you know, the four grand in labor for the air conditioning? Yeah. Free. Just, just well, parts. Well, I mean, I bought Mr. Carlos a case of beer, that, but that's it. That, that's fine. He was, he's like, I get Negro hey. Modelo. That's the most expensive beer. Anyway, um, I rebuilt the front suspension. I put new Pittman and Idler arms. Uh, yeah. Put new front shocks, new hub bearings, or wheel bearings. Um, air filter, fuel filter. Uh, what else have we done? New tires, obviously. Uh, put new LED lights in it, new bulbs all the way around. Trying to find an electrical gremlin. It's doing the hyper blinking go when going right. Yeah, we'll show because you in a these second. Were, uh, yeah. No, we're not. Because this <laughs> whole uh, case was underwater, or it was filled with water, and I didn't notice it because it was that full. What I think happened is these sockets corroded away and it's not getting a full signal through that socket and it's tripping a bad bulb. Yeah. Um, so what I'm gonna do is start with new sockets on both sides. These lenses are 15 bucks. So I'm gonna get lenses for both sides. And if that's not it, then I'll put in a multifunction switch, but the, the front end which is kind of expensive. That's why I'm not wanting to do that yet because it's got a functioning cruise control. And with the cruise control module on the function switch, it's like 200 bucks warranty. Warranty, that's fine. Warranty, yeah. it, yep. I mean, the front end needs oh, a little TLC. A we did a coolant flush, water pump, thermostat, and I put in this Rizlone product called Hypercool, and it actually works great on this one. I can't get it to work on my truck. It still runs at 183 degrees. That's it fine. It hasn't come down at all, but this one actually runs under 210, where it yep. used to run over 210. Yeah. So, saving on your head gasket there. <laughs> Like it just ran off the assembly line. How many miles again, Brooks? Over 315,000. Uh, on cold mornings, the only thing it'll do is, uh, if you don't let it warm up enough, uh, the shift from first to second is kind of, but. What do you the expect? The original GM transmission that's never been out of the truck, I'm not worried one bit. But listen to it and it's fully warmed up the lifter tick is gone listen there's no lifter noise i'm not talking to the camera right now i mean you can listen to yeah, it but yeah. adam listen yeah there's no lifter noise 
It's just like faint little cam, but that's. Well, that, it's but just that's grinding its, its own profile. Who knows what it'll come up with? Yeah, it's yeah. It'll add twenty three horse. Oh, the, wait, wait, wait. You want to tell them about the uh, the the coils and spark original plugs? Original coils, <laughs> original coil packs. Uh, I think. I'm actually going to go back on what I said. I think maybe one injector has been replaced, but seven injectors are original. And it's running like this. Look, if you maintain your vehicle, it will maintain you. Oh yeah. So oh, you want to tell them about down. you want to tell them about the throttle body, how it used to the RPMs. Yes, it yeah. Used to, oh look, look. Oh yeah, I got and the LEDs. LEDs. Oh yeah. E -E. It used to idle in traffic with the AC on. It would go bah! down to like 200 RPM, and then it would. <laughs> come back bah, and then it come back up <laughs> that's now, what my car does i need to fix that in traffic holds idle a lot of idle and misfire issues i would start with plugs and throttle body cleaning you're supposed to clean your throttle body every two uh oil changes a lot of people don't do that a lot of people don't know that i didn't know that until i started working on cars you do that and it may seem like overkill but what's the harm you spray it on a rag wipe it wipe it good to go yeah Literally running like a clock. Get the Rolex in there. Oh, yeah. Rich, get alert. Yeah. I mean, just, just look at this. Don't rev it too hard. No, no. Clean, exact 500 RPMs, 315,000 okay, miles. Okay, the brake. Um, uh, oh, you want to show them about the pump? ABS? We'll in a minute. The yeah. brake pump is stuck on, so we pulled the fuse out. The ABS pump on these uh, generation of Yukons and Suburbans is kind of useless because it distribute because it has four wheel disc. It, dis it distributes the braking pressure evenly. You don't really need an ABS pump, so we just pulled the fuse out. We put it back in to get it inspected. That's all we do. Yeah. Oh look, here's Diego. E <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Uh, all yeah, right, we'll catch up with y'all later. This vehicle. I mean, I'll put a new engine and tranny in it. I'll never get rid of it. It's such a good truck. Hasn't it helped you not be a Ford bias a yes, little bit? This yeah. this really is why I love GM Ford. Yeah. Seriously. Yeah. I got to go to the grocery store. What's going on, Queer 1836? I got tampons. Yeah. <laughs> this is exactly what you do on a blown knee. I'll hitchhike. <laughs> you need to take me for a ride. All right, but serious. It's all serious. I just got my knee in this. Oh, yeah. Like Gotta get some oil on the Yukon's tires. Oh, yeah. You wanna put it on the other side, too, just for good luck? Might as well. Might as well. I'm ruin the tread here. Dude. That's fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it, by the way, it's still gonna be sliding on me. 